Hey there, my name is Cameron, also known as Venus Theory, and welcome back to another episode of Mixcraft Quick Tips, the series where we take a look at helpful tips and common questions inside of Mixcraft to improve your workflow and your productions. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to set up a production template inside of Mixcraft. But before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe down below to stay tuned for future episodes of Quick Tips, and if you have a question or an idea for a future video, feel free to let us know down in the comments. Production templates are a really great tool and can be a really helpful thing to have whenever you're going into a production session when inspiration strikes. I don't know about you, but I can sometimes find a blank project to be a little bit intimidating, and it can also kind of suck the creative energy out of the room when you have to sit there doing all the basic things to get your project set up, like adding tracks and instruments and effects. Production templates are a really great way around this because it gets all of this stuff out of the way for you, saving you a lot of time and ultimately helping to keep the creative vibe flowing when you go and do a session. When you first open Mixcraft, you'll see the project setup screen. This is a great way to get the ball rolling for your production template by adding your different track types you'll need. If you're a singer-songwriter, for example, maybe you need something like two vocal tracks, two guitar tracks, a bass, and maybe some drums and one or two virtual instruments. Otherwise, if you're making some beats, you might need a handful of virtual instrument tracks and a few audio tracks for samples and other audio content. Once you've set up your initial tracks, you can then set up your favorite virtual instruments and go-to processing chains and even your send and other audio effects to get your session started. From here, if you tend to group certain instruments or tracks together a lot, you could even set up your submix tracks and consider adding a mastering chain down on the master bus. This is a really great way to work because once you have this set up, you can save this as a template to call up anytime you open Mixcraft, which allows you to get the sounds in your head out and into your session. From here, once you've got this set up and you're ready to save your project, you can go up to File and Save As and save the project somewhere on your computer. In my case, I'll put it in my Mixcraft projects here and name it something like Basic Production Template. Then, next time you load up Mixcraft, you can go to Load an Existing Project and then call up your production templates. And I think that does it for this video. As always, I hope you found the video helpful and thanks for watching. 